In our broken world, we often are tempted to hate those who harm us. But Jesus teaches a radically different way of life. We are to love our enemies and to pray for those who persecute us. This kind of love mirrors the heart of God and extends grace to all, even those who oppose Him. Loving our enemies is not easy, but it is one of the clearest ways we can reflect the love of Christ to a watching world. Well, hello, my name is James Long, Jr. I am a pastor, counselor, and university professor. Welcome to Lessons for Life, where I help people whose pain from their past or their present is influencing their perspective on life through teaching them about a person, the Lord Jesus Christ, principles and promises from God's Word, and giving them a pathway for change, my goal is to guide you towards peace, hope, and joy. In today's lesson, we will be exploring the topic of showing love to our enemies and learning how God's truth can transform our lives. If you're ready to experience the joy of forgiveness and freedom found in Christ alone, you are in the right place. Well, the passage of Scripture today is found in Matthew chapter 5, verses 43 through 48. It says this, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven. For he makes the sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Don't even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brothers, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same? You therefore must be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Here's the devotional thought. Jesus turns the conventional wisdom of his day upside down. While people thought it was natural to hate your enemies, Jesus calls us to love them instead. Why? Because God loves those who are far from him. God sends rain and sunshine to both the righteous and the unrighteous, showing his kindness to all people. Loving our enemies is not a suggestion. It is a command. It goes against our natural inclination, but it reflects the heart of God. Jesus says that when we love our enemies, we are acting like children of our Heavenly Father. The love of God transcends our differences and our disagreements and it calls us to do the same. We are not only to love those who love us back, well, even tax collectors seen as traitors in Jesus' time do that, but Jesus sets a higher standard. We are to love as he loves, even those who wish us harm. Bringing it home, applying what we've learned, three points. Number one, pray for your enemies. Begin by praying for those who have wronged you. Ask God to soften your heart towards them and to show His love through you. Number two, extend kindness. Look for tangible ways to serve and to love those who have hurt you. This could be through kind words, acts of service, or simply by refusing to retaliate. Number three, imitate God's love. Reflect the heart of your Heavenly Father by showing love and grace to both friend and foe, just as God does for you. Well, let's pray. Father, it is hard for us to love those who hurt us, but I ask for your help to show love and grace even to my enemies. Help me to reflect your kindness and patience, just as you have shown kindness to everyone, regardless of their actions. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me today. If you found this lesson helpful, I would encourage you to explore more resources and support on my website, jameslongjr.org. jameslongjr.org. There, you can join our Lessons for Life monthly membership or our online group coaching program, where you will find powerful coaching videos, a supportive community, and step-by-step -step guidance for lasting transformation. Remember, true change is possible when you walk in God's grace and for his glory. Until next time, may you find peace, hope, and joy in Christ alone. Blessings.